One moment, please, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Two kinds of people I know about, little man. The kind that pisses their pants when you kill them, and the kind that don't. Now, which kind do you think you are? Yes, sir. It's good to get out of that costume. Mr. Gami. Mr. Lofus. This way, please. It's good to see you again, Mr. Travis. I detect a note of irony in your voice, Cindy dear. some polite conversation before getting down to business. Said obligation has, I think, been discharged. I must now inform you that I am extremely displeased. I do not like reading about myself in the papers, especially when my name is coupled with the phrase billion dollar loss. If you want to blame someone, blame the judge, blame the federal prosecutor. I make no excuses. I accept none. As for the judge and the prosecutor, have no worries. As a good businessman, I always balance my books. Your failure compels me to take direct action to remedy this dire situation. You leave me no choice. Well, I don't suppose there's any more need for secrets between us. Close your mouth, Cindy, dear. It's rude. I've never spoken to you about my mother, Eugenia, have I? She's a remarkable woman, altogether ahead of her time in so many different ways, including genetic engineering. You see, she made me. I'm perhaps her most perfect creation, although not, as you can see, altogether perfect. Mr. Mascaro? <laughs> if you please. I take it you're familiar with the Iron Maiden? This is crazy! This is crazy! Well, this is rather different, though it does share some qualities in common. But it's designed not to transfix victims so much as to compress them. I can only judge from the reactions of the previous occupants that it is a rather painful process. <laughs> Mr. Mascaro? Let's begin the sequence. I am nothing. I am an emptiness. And like all emptiness, I struggle perpetually to be filled. I draw in wealth, power, sensation, but still I am empty. Still I am nothing. Hylas. Selection number seven, please. The pit yawns before me. I, of all living creatures, can permit myself no illusion of soul. It's from emptiness that I came, and that emptiness awaits me at the end. And what dwells between but a mad, pointless puppet show, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. I'm with you, boss. Hell, here we come. Virgil, you are the most brilliant man I have ever known. And I am the most brilliant woman I have ever known. There's no other woman in the world for you except me. Your pride compels you to kill me. Master me instead. And by the power vested in me, by the divine spirit, that totally permeates the entire universe. Wheresoever you be, you may not get away from it. I declare you to be and wife. Officially, Mr. Mascaro is my religious advisor. Church of the Divine Spirit. I'm in the 
Master Registry of Religions. Most convenient attacks time. That's enough of that! Show a little protocol, a little spirituality. Behave yourselves. Take a lesson from my little friends over there. <laughs> hey, knock it off! <laughs> this is supposed to be a happy occasion. Anybody make it not so happy, then I'm not going to be happy. Oh, Virgil. Now the world really has something to worry about. Well then, perhaps the whole thing was worthwhile after all. Play him, Hylas. <laughs> 